Today, I'm going to show you how you can use donorschoose.org to create projects um, to receive materials for your students and your classroom. Okay, first of all, you need to go to donorschoose.org. When you click the About Us uh, tab, you can find all sorts of information about uh, Donors Choose, how they started, uh, their team, how it works, and let me actually tell you a little how it works. So you go on Donors Choose and you create a project. You will be uh, sent to a list of vendors that you can use uh, to choose your materials, what you need. Okay? Then generous people around the US or elsewhere also because i teach italian and i've had several people actually contributing to my projects from italy so these people these general donors find your project they um, donate to your project and the their donation is always tax tax deductible this is very important to always remind people when you will share the link to your project because of course they don't want to throw their money away either so especially if they are normal people if they are individuals they need to know that they can deduct um, their donation from their taxes once your project has been funded then donors choose will fulfill the order therefore they will buy all the materials you needed and they are going to send them to you when you receive the materials you will also receive an email uh, with all the instructions on how to send your thank you notes how to upload the pictures photos uh, of you and your students using the materials um, and then how to write a thank you letter okay an impact letter uh, then if you keep going here if you're worried about what kind of, of organization uh, donors choose is you can check how they spend their money and you can see several um, articles and data about it okay so how can you create a project and what kind of projects can you create let me see a few let me show you a few of my projects so for example i have uh, one project that is active now this one technology will take you places and here i I am requesting um, a 360 degrees camera to create videos of Italy. I teach Italian and I want my students to have the, the impression of being completely immersed in the culture in Italy. And so I want to be able to record videos for them to do activities, participate in simulated conversations, and do several things. So what do you need to do when you create a project? First of all, you need to find a catchy name for it, a catchy title. Okay, uh, like this one, I called it technology will take you places. Because, you know, the idea of filming 360 degrees videos is that, well, you're in the comfort of your home, but still you have the, the feeling to actually be in Italy. Okay. And with 360 degrees cameras, you can do all sorts of sort of interactive um, videos. Okay. Then you have to um, describe your students. Please always be very, very honest about your students don't say that um, your population is all very poor if that is not true because donors are not silly they actually go and check uh, about your school so my advice is if your school is a title one school for example please talk to the title one 
coordinator and find out exactly the percentage of the population that is um, that is receiving free or reduced price lunch. Okay, make sure that all the information you publish is as real as possible. Okay, because donors are generous, but they don't want to throw their money away, so they will double check okay then obviously you have to describe your project okay when you describe your project uh, the second paragraph will be highlighted so always make sure that whatever your description of the project is you uh, you write a second paragraph sentence uh, whatever will be highlighted that is of high impact okay then you will also have on your project all your materials as you see i am going to show you that there is a percentage that is actually going to go to donors choose okay do you see this okay now if you notice my project costs four hundred and sixty five dollars and fifteen cents and the donation to donors choose is sixty nine dollars seventy seven okay so there are a lot of people that say oh i will use other websites because i don't want to give money to donors choose but they have a whole system in place to help us and honestly i have really received so much from donors choose that i am totally okay if there is a little that goes to them because they really are helping us with the platform and organizing all the work okay then um uh, obviously you will see all the activity they will tell you um when you submitted the project okay you see here on march 4 i had submitted the project then on march 6 erin a volunteer at donors choose donors choose there are a lot of volunteers working for them okay um they and she reviewed my project then the same day she verified the cost and whether all my um materials were possible to buy then on may 7 craig newman philanthropies gave 25 dollars to my project and they actually gave a lot of my uh, a lot of 25 dollars to several projects okay so this is a technology project now let me show you the other possibilities we will not go in great details because you've already seen how it works powering down when powering up this project here is about getting notebooks stickers and pens to um, give my students we will probably still be online uh, in the fall because of the pandemic so i want them to have their notebooks pens and motivational stickers to keep doing their work at home it doesn't have to be only technology i want them to handwrite i want them to take notes organize their work write emails write essays so i want them to have one good journal book notebook to use then i have had other projects like snacking the test away this project uh, with this project i ordered snacks for my ap italian students so they could have a little snack before their test basic classroom needs for success this project was funded on in december and we were so happy about it because with the basic classroom needs for success i had actually asked a lot of materials that you need every day in a classroom you know from a stepping stool from uh, facial tissues tissues for my students because you know they come to your class they have a cold and they don't have anything to blow their nose with and then we had dry erase markers a wall clock um, we had a dry erase surface cleaner 
Clorox disinfecting wipes. It's been so useful because since we started hearing about COVID-19, my students had um, a disinfecting wipe every day to clean their desk because they wanted to limit the spreading of the virus as much as I could. Okay, and then I also ordered the pencils. Okay, so you can really ask for everything that you need. Um, let me see some other projects. Let me see. Okay, so I received, listen to the sounds of Italy, I received a speaker. Our speaker had died. My students do a lot of listening activities, so I needed a good speaker. Or images for learning. There, my projector died, and there was no way that it could be fixed, so we, all, we asked for a projector. From papyrus to whiteboards, um, I asked for a lot of materials for my students to do um, projects using their hands, uh, you know. So um, there, I mean, do you see, there are so many kind of materials you can ask. So how do we create a project? It was probably the same page, let me see. Yes, here we go. So you click on your project page, you click create another project. Uh, nowadays, for uh, some time, I believe, you can choose to create a distance learning project. For example, in case you want to uh, offer your students something that helps them still learn right now. Or you can also create a professional development project for you to keep learning or a standard project. Okay, so what do you do? You have to go to Let's Go. This is obviously a project I will um, discard later on. Uh, so you have to indicate the grade level. You have to indicate how many students will be, um, will be helped by your materials. Then you have to, uh, in this case, it's a distance learning uh, project, so you would describe the uh, present, current distance learning circumstances, then you keep going, and you get to the list of vendors. As you see, you can go from AKJ Education, Amazon Business, which is the one I actually use the most, but we also had materials bought from Best Buy Education. As you see, you have all sorts of vendors to use. Uh, for my snacks, we used uh, quill.com. Um, and you know, teachers pay teachers, look there. You can find all sorts of resources there that have been created by teachers, therefore already been tried in the classroom. I mean, you can really decide to do whatever you do. Then after, let me see if we can go on. Okay, after you have to choose your project title, make sure it's catchy. You can take a look around donors choose. You can look at other people's projects. My advice is don't just copy a title. It might create doubles and then, I don't know, as a, as a donor, I would just think, okay, they didn't really take the time to create a catchy title. Let's look for someone else. So make sure your project is as um, original as possible. It can be very simple. It doesn't have to be anything super complicated. Make it simple, make it original, make it catchy. Then you have to write a little essay, but honestly, not very much. It's 90 words. You will be done very soon. You choose your subject areas. Then you continue. You have to explain exactly why. Then you get to the end. And obviously, in this case, my project is not ready. But you will be able to review 
each single part. And as you see, the parts that need to be completed will be highlighted in red and you will be able to edit them. Okay? So, what happens next? Next, you need to make sure that this was big change, <laughs> maybe bigger than I thought. So what you really need to do after you posted your project, you have to share it on all possible social media. Send it to your friends. Uh, send it to anybody that you know may want to have a tax deductible donation. If you know companies, obviously send it to them because they're very likely to make your um, project a reality. I really hope that you, knew, you found this video helpful and I hope to find all your projects on Donor's Shoes. Bye.